Someone's nicked my wet wipes, my, my bed wipes. Um, <laughs> they're nowhere, they're nowhere to be seen. Well, this wasn't the plan. <laughs> uh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> Good evening, good morning, how you all doing guys? Um, welcome back to the channel, if you're new to the channel, welcome along. My name's Andy Perrin, I'm a locksmith in Brighton & Hove. Um, this video, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, is about me remodelling the van. So, uh, this week, I've probably spent, actually I'll, at the end I'll work it out, I'll work out what I've spent on these Stanley Fat Max um, pro stack systems uh and i'll work out what it what it is that of course so you know exactly what i've spent but I, can't, I was kind of forced into it because somebody went into the back of me a couple of weeks ago and the containers that i used to have in the back that had all my locks and stuff like that clear containers i could see everything that was in there uh kind of got obliterated um even though there wasn't actually that much damage to the van the bumper was the bumper was broke the parking sensors were broken, a little dent or two little dents in the in one of the doors. Um, but I think the actual force of the van, <laughs> everything in my van went flying. I've got I've got books and that up here and the stuff on the dash. Everything went flying, and yeah, the, the plastic tubs in the back got absolutely obliterated. Uh, and yeah, I tried to well, I say I tried to. I, I worked out of, out of it like that for about a week, and it just drove me mad. So uh, I needed to do something. So. Uh, I know you. a lot of you guys might be watching this that have Mil the Milwaukee pack out, which is lovely. Um, I just didn't want to go to that extent of spending that much money. Um, although this still wasn't cheap, I think I've spent about five or six hundred pounds on this. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get into the video. And, um, yeah, you can see uh, the trials and tribulations of doing this because... It actually, as you can tell by the beginning of the video, was a bit of a fail to start with. Guess what day it is? It's van remodeling day finally. So um, I've changed what I was going to do. I was going to do some built-in, uh, oops, built-in units, and I was going to build units either side. So that when you open this side, there's all units here, and the same over there, but. I've decided against that. I've gone for a slightly easier but more expensive option. And that's to use the Stanley Pro Stack system. So these were already in my van and so were these. Um, but I've added, no, sorry. They were in my van and this top one, that's my lockout kit. But those I've bought, all of these I've bought. So these are drawers and <clears throat> I've got another six delivered yesterday six of the drawers uh, i'm sick and tired of just trying to have to move boxes and lift boxes up to get to stuff and it's just yeah just a nightmare but these drawers look pretty pretty deep uh you don't have to have these in there obviously um so yeah i've got i'll have 10 of these drawers in total uh and then there's a few tubs and a couple more of those um but also I, when i was doing auto um i used to have these drawers which were I used for remotes and keyblades and stuff. They're DeWalt. Let's see the DeWalt sign down there. They're DeWalt, but they're actually compatible with the ProStack because basically DeWalt and Stanley are the same company. So I can take them out of there as well and they can stack onto this however I configure it. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do it yet, but um, I did buy these. These were well expensive from B&Q. Um, Urbauer. Um, yeah, and it was just a couple of crates and then a couple of boxes on the top, but it just didn't work. It was a shame because I spent about 150 quid just on those. Um, but yeah, I mean, this stuff wasn't cheap. So like I say, I've got 10, 10 of these drawers. Um, we've got some deep, uh, we've got deep box there. Um, another shallower box down there. Bought another two of these. I've got my lockout stuff in. I've got another two of those. Uh, another deep box. And yeah, on all of this I had anyway. So 
Um, this here <coughs> is a little, it's a little um, like caddy and you can get little boxes that, that uh, like for drill bits and all that that clip into it. I'm not going to use it for that. The reason why I bought that is because I'm going to want some drawers here and I've got this little lump here. So I literally bought that just to pack, pack up um, so that my drawers actually clear that. Um, and it was only 15 quid. It was either that or I was going to put a false floor in. But um, I don't have the time or the energy to do all of that anymore. So, uh, yeah, I've still got to sort this out. But I'm also, I'm, I'm toying with, with moving this all back a little bit. Um, I quite like it. You know, it's quite handy to be able to sit there. I've got a drawer there. It's quite handy to be able to sit there and do stuff. Um, <clears throat> but... It, yeah, I don't need as much space in the back. I just need the width of one of these boxes, basically, um, to be able to sit in here. So I could, I could pinch probably for maybe six inches. So yeah, I'm just gonna, um, I'm probably gonna undo that, pull this th this way, and then uh, refix that. And then I can start. I'll start with the back, put on all how I want there. I'm gonna get two. I can get two towers in here. Um, so yeah. Let's crack on, I've waffled enough. There you go, just to show you. So the DeWalt is the T-stack, Stanley is the Pro stack. So they'll all just clip together. Uh, and the clips are actually pretty good. So you just flap them down like that. They sit on there like that and you just pull them over like that. Nice and easy. So I, had... I think I might have bought too many, too many bits, but I can always send some back if I don't use it. That's that one. And then that one. Yeah, cool. Like oh, it's like a massive jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> I've messed about with this load, but I think this is what I'm going to come up with. So I can't go any higher because obviously these, these will just hit the roof. So that's as high as I can go. I've just got clearance there. So they open fully. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much there. I mean, I've got so I've got four drawers either side. Four drawers. I need somewhere for my salvage jig, so that can just sit there. These stack together, so they they strap together. That's just a single box. Not the end of the world if I've got to get something out of there. I've just got to pull one box off. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. I've still got loads left though. <laughs> I've still got all of these. Um, I've still got my lockout kit and I've still got two drawers over there so you can see them suns in there still got two drawers in there so I also decided to not push this back um, again because it works out perfectly at the moment <coughs> I need a gap at the back for this to open so once that's open that's almost sitting on the back there I've probably got about an inch spare something like that but also I've got my blue roll holder there and I was thinking where else I could put that. But that at the moment, when, when the door's shut, is perfect on there. So it's just, it's just off. So I think I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna put a bit of batten, uh, like sort of that, I'll cut it to the end of that. So it stops these from sliding forward and I'll put a bit behind as well to stop them from, from sliding back. And then uh, that should be it. Right, we're getting somewhere. So, <clears throat> that's all these filled up. So, top, got my power tools. Top of this one, we've got uh, all my small window mechs and window hinges. Then, we've got uh, drill bits, uh, raw plugs, screwdriver bits, uh, masonry bits, attachment from my, my um, jigsaw and my planer some rail bits that sort of thing uh this is all basically latches um door closers some hinges in there all that type of thing some uh, cam locks these i don't really know if i need to keep these but i do some of them are battered as well but uh yeah it's just spare keeps and i've got ones for um you know like uh rebated locks uh it's just you know, it might help you out. It's helped me out a few times on jobs. Um, keeps for uh, external open doors. Back plates. I've been to jobs before where these tabs are broken off. 
um, so I'll keep a few sort of different back plates in there uh, uh, and just a few bits and pieces in that bottom drawer there, handles and stuff, code lock. Um, and then on this drawer we've got window parts, so um, spare keeps and everything in there, handles, sash jammers, that sort of thing. Fixings, all different types of fixings, screws, washers, nuts, bolts, um, circlips. <coughs> um, it's just more fixings, so we've got some nails and pins and stuff there. Um, just some like sorted screws in those two. Uh, that's actually um, just spare uh, levers for locks and window packers. And then down here, just bits and pieces, uh, the PVA, some uh, spare hardener for the for the two-pack filler, that sort of stuff. Sandpapers, a couple of silicones. So that's that. Um, I haven't filled these up yet. I'm going to do them later. Obviously, I've got my silicones up there. I've got somewhere, where is it? Um, big wipes, so I've got to fix it. I don't know where I've put it now. Yeah, I've got a tub for the big wipes, um, but the brackets broke and it normally screws on there, so I need to sort that out. But other than that, the back's done, I'm quite happy. Um, just a handle there that I could, didn't have time, but well, didn't have room to fit it anywhere. My door spreader's down there, that's a long mech at the back there, a long window mech. Uh, yeah, door spreaders, bolt coppers, hole saws there. So yeah, I think it's gonna work all right. I mean, time will tell. Someone's nicked my wet wipes, my, my big wipes. Um, <laughs> they're nowhere, they're nowhere to be seen. While I've been doing the van, I swear I put them on this wall here. But while I've been doing the van, I've had my, headphone, my headphones on. I've been in and out to check on my little dog. And I've got a feeling that while I've been, while I've popped in, someone's, I can't see anything else missing, but I cannot find my big wipes. <laughs> I think someone's had them away. How strange. Okay, it's not perfect by any means, but it's much better, much more contained than it was. So I've shown you all of these, my toolbox in there, I've done all that there, that's all earlier. So the middle, um, I've found the, uh, I found my big wipes uh, container. It was in one of my other boxes. Um, the middle is that there. So we've got, I've got all my escutcheons in here now, rather than just being in a tub all mixed up. So. Euros, the standard ones up there. Um, lockout kit there, so I can just, yeah, let's put you back a little bit, there we go. Uh, lockout kit there, so I can just hang that off, uh, pull that off when I need it. Uh, Euros, standard Euros there. Um, night latches in that one, uh, deadlocks in the bottom one. Handles, just old handles in there. I'll keep a, I'll keep a bunch of old handles, just in case I don't have one that, um, that will fit um, all my lot, uh, decoders and picks and all that down there, toolbox. This is blind and I love this little thing. Um, it's so good, uh, my little workbench. Um, right, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you the other side without moving my van. Right, so this side, I can't even remember what's on the top of there, what's in there? Oh yeah, my, my all my thumb turns and high security ones. Uh, cylinders, so that's in there. Um, then down here, I've got nothing in that one as yet. This one's just all bits for when I do gearboxes and handles, spindles, all that sort of thing. Uh, hinge adjustments, um, gearboxes, gearboxes and overnight boxes. Oh, that was a job and a half, but it's done. But this wasn't the plan. <laughs> uh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. Um, everything's just falling over every time I go around a bend. So this doesn't work, but it doesn't work anyway. Um, I've ordered some more drawers because these tubs, these boxes are just a nightmare if I need something down there. So um, yeah, let me straighten this up. Yeah, so as I was saying, they just don't work. Um, it keeps falling over because of the weight. And when I go around bends, I just literally hear it keeping falling over. The drawers that were in the back, I've ordered another seven. So I can stack five up here with a, with a box, a little box on the top, I think. 
and then another two on the on the on the ones over there. Another two drawers on there. Uh, and then I can either fix them together or then I can fix them in here if I don't put a tub on there. Um, or potentially even just screw through the sides of the drawers and get it fixed into there, maybe fixed together as well. Um, but yeah, I'll wait for the drawers to arrive. And then we'll see. Right, they've arrived. Seven new drawers. So <clears throat> I'm going to quickly try and do it. I've got about an hour before I go back. It's Saturday today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and quickly get these organised if I can uh, with the drawers. And I decided what I can do is the big the big ones down here. I can't even remember what's in there now. But I could use them. I could put my decoders and that in there. Uh, and all of my sort of lockout stuff and maybe use one of these ones as well so right let's try and get this done this is the little tote <coughs> that's underneath that that stack over there just to get it above this point here um don't necessarily need it because i'm probably going to push these push these over there but to keep it all at the same height um i'm probably gonna I'm probably going to put it on. But yeah, what happens with these is you've got the boxes, like the bits box and, and stuff like that, and they all clip in there, and you can just carry it around, and it all clips, all clips on. Um, yeah. I'm not going to use it for that. I'm literally using it as a packer. All right, so in this bottom one is my, actually all my deadlocks and sash locks. So there's quite a lot in there. Um, stuff in the top. What's in the top? What's in the top? Oh, just some oh keys. So they've obviously dropped out of obviously dropped out of some of these. Um, trouble is, there's quite a lot there. I'm probably gonna have to le use at least two drawers just for them. Uh, oh, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Have I bought enough again? <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'm gonna put and start putting them into there though, and then we'll see what we got. Right, that's those filled up. So. Um, Managed to get all my deadlocks, uh, FB2 locks, um, 3G114Es, and 2143s in there, sash locks all in there, so strong bolts, uh, 2234Es. Uh, I've got a couple of, um, what are they called? Uh, Viscounts, a couple of Viscounts, just a couple of other loose ones there. And then, uh, three levers, bathroom locks, a couple of horizontal, three horizontal locks there, a couple of random bits in there, and then night latches up there, and night latches, oh, hello, night latches up there. So, that's, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got handles in that box, they can stay in the box, rarely use them, that's fine. I've got another box in my, in my training room that I can use for my other handles. So they can stack on a on a on a tub down there or something. And then the decoders and that can all go in the bigger box that all my deadlocks are in. So now I've just got two, I've got two more of these left. So let's see if we can configure them some way for the boxes that are behind there. So yeah, the other side. So this is <clears throat> these are all my high security thumb turns and uh, no high security cylinders and thumb turns. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is try and get them in a drawer. I might be pushing my luck a bit. Get them in a drawer, that can go there, and do another drawer on top of that with my other cylinders. So yeah, this side, um, put my, my my cylinders in this top, uh, so night latch cylinders in the top, and just a few sort of rogue, uh, unboxed cylinders. Um, high security cylinders and thumb turns in there, and all my other cylinders in there. I'm a little bit gutted. Obviously these are fine, that, that, that sort of size cylinder is fine, but anything above above that basically, so that 45, that 50, 45, just won't fit sort of standing up. It just comes above the top of the drawer, which is really, really gutting, because now I can't stack them how, how I used to, so I can't really see exactly what I've got in there, but oh well. Um, these do ping off these little tabs and it comes with loads of little white tabs so I can write in all of these what, what they are and uh, which I'll probably do at some point as well just not today 
Right, that's as far as I'm going to go now. So, um, for the minute anyway. Um, so yeah, deadlocks, sash locks, uh, three levers, night latch, and night latch. Now it's not, I haven't screwed it in yet. Uh, I did all this yesterday, used the van yesterday and it was all fine. I am going to screw it in just because I'm conscious that if that goes over, that will be another disaster. So I am going to screw it in. I just haven't got time right now. Um, and also, <clears throat> I decided against doing the decoders and that at the moment. That all works down there. Uh, all, my, all my decoding stuff and lock picks and stuff like that and cameras. This is what I've got left. So that was an old box. That was an old box. This top one was a new box that I bought. So I'll see how I go over there. And if that does become a problem, all of that over there, then um, I'll still have... I still have those boxes, but I've still got room here. My little, uh, my little stool, which I'm not going to be able to get out one-handed. But yeah, that's a little concertina stool, so that can still pop up here, and I can still work on my little pull-out shelf if I need to. Uh, utilize those two boxes, so old handles, new handles. That can just sit up there nicely. I've just got my scutcheons and that in there. Uh, and I think, I think I'm there. And just one last little thing before I, uh, to note before I go, is obviously the weight in this top drawer, there's night latches in there. And you can see, I'm gonna shut the drawer. You can see how much it's leaning forward, like that. So it's not gonna go, but it is leaning. So even more reason for me to actually get these fixed together or fixed to that, fixed to the uh, bulkhead, I think. All right, there you go, guys. So that's the van done. Um, I'm hoping that everything being in drawers now, pretty much everything being in drawers is, is going to make my life so much easier. I do need to, I will at some point get those, get those fixed into the, to the bulkhead um, so that they can't fall over. But they, I mean, they're fairly sturdy at the moment. They're not falling over, but I don't want to risk it. So yeah, I'll get those, I'll get those fixed in. But yeah, so the total cost is actually, I've just worked it out and it's actually a bit more than I thought. So um, <clears throat> there was 17 drawers. Um, there was two box, two of the deep boxes and uh, two of the shallow boxes with the clear tops. Uh, and the two uh, caddies that I bought just to lift them off the floor. Uh, the total I spent is 690. Um, so, you know... I've got quite a lot of stuff for that, and all I've got le all I've got left over is is that one deep box and the two shallower boxes. Um, but the, t the one deep box and one shallow box I had anyway. I've, you know, I've only just not used that one shallow box. So I mean, that, and, and actually that shallow box I bought ages ago, so I haven't bought that in in, in with this six hundred ninety quid. That was actually just sitting in my training room. So six hundred ninety quid, um, and I'm hoping that's going to be the solution now. Um, for a while I have got one little other job I've got two other little jobs I want to get done on the van one is I'm fitting a reversing camera up here obviously I can't see anything out, out the back because I've got a metal bulkhead so I've got a reversing camera to fit there and I want to carpet the inside of the van at the back so I've bought all the carpet I just yeah got to find the time to do it but that makes it a lot easier now I can just take those modular you know the, the modular systems out carpet it and just put them back in so it makes it a lot easier to do um, one last thing before I go, um, you might notice an extra little sticker here, Dan Blackler, uh, the lock picking donkey. Let me just take you over and sh actually I've got another one here, he sent me two. <clears throat> there you go, the lock picking donkey. I'll, I'll leave a link to Dan's um, YouTube channel below. So uh, if you're into lock picking, into lock sport, uh go and give dan a follow please i'm sure he would appreciate it and um that's the end of the video guys so if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing it really helps me uh if you've enjoyed the video if you found it uh in any way educational uh, and sort of interesting then please give it a like again helps my channel and uh thank you very much for watching and see you all next time guys love you all